This Samsung Galaxy Fold 4 cost a ridiculous $1800, but this phone here was just $299. And the secret? This phone here is used and it's genuinely one of the best purchases I've ever made. Yes, this is a Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 from 2020 that I picked up on eBay for just $299, which is more than 6 times cheaper than the cheapest Fold 4 on the Samsung store. And today I'm gonna tell you 5 reasons why you should definitely do the same. Let's begin with the screens, which is actually the reason why this phone was so cheap in the first place. You may have already noticed this, but the front screen here is actually cracked on both the top and the bottom, and while it's not the prettiest thing to have, it kinda just blends in once you actually start to use the phone, just like the hole punch does. And besides, you're mostly going to be using the inner screen anyways, which is a beautiful 7.6 inch display. Despite the massive size, this panel still gets bright enough to use outdoors, runs at a silky smooth 120Hz, and is overall a gorgeous panel. And even though it has some marks on it, they are just on the protective layer, which can be replaced for just 20 bucks at an official shop. Compared to the newer models, the only important thing missing here is the S Pen support. It's still an incredible experience for playing games, surfing the web and watching videos. But this gigantic display lets me do so much more, so let's talk about the software. Because this is the first phone where I feel like I can actually get work done. It definitely won't be replacing my laptop, but the way the software is designed allows me to multitask fast and comfortably. Plus the big screen makes typing out emails and video scripts way nicer than the usual small one. And what really makes this phone feel fresh is the fact that it's still receiving software updates. So features such as the really convenient taskbar introduced on the Fold 4 work here just as well. But how well does the 3 years old Snapdragon 865 chip hold up these days? Unsurprisingly, a flagship CPU from a few years ago still holds up great. I haven't noticed anything being slow from my day-to-day -day use, and while I don't really play mobile games, I tried out both Fortnite and Dolphin, and they ran just fine. And even the old classics just look so fresh and juicy on this beautiful screen. But of course, one of the best reasons to buy a phone used is that instead of getting a budget phone that just cuts corners, you're getting flagship level build quality. And it's no different with this phone that originally cost $2,000, when it came out. Even though this is a folding phone, it's built out of metal and feels incredibly solid in hands. And that also includes the hinge, which still feels smooth despite the phone being a couple years old and closes with a satisfying click. But it's not just the build itself. The flagship feel resonates throughout the phone in things like its stereo speakers, which can give you an immersive movie watching experience without using headphones. And knowing for sure that every component on the phone, from the haptics to the fingerprint sensor, is smooth and reliable, is just something you don't get on cheap phones. But that leads us straight to the cameras, because I guarantee you, you won't be getting photos like this from a brand new $300 phone. Yes, you are missing out on the upgrades, such as the underscreen selfie camera of the Fold 3, or the huge 50 megapixel sensor of the Fold 4. And yes, these cameras are not the top of the line in 2023 by any means, but they work just fine in a pinch and the massive screen will help you quickly make sure you got the right shot, alongside some genuinely useful features such as taking selfies with the back camera or letting your friends see what's in the shot before taking a group photo. And a sub to the channel would be a desperate thing to ask for, but let's talk about the battery and um, it's fine, like it's a used phone so the battery is not going to be as good as a brand new one, but I ran a test where I played a YouTube live stream on the big screen with brightness turned all the way up and it held up for over 8 hours, which honestly I think is pretty good for a used phone. So in conclusion, while I do think this is one of the best smartphone deals you can get at the moment, buying used things in general just makes sense, because you can get something really cool for a really cheap price while also saving the planet. Uh, I got this monitor right here for 4 euros. 